I met a missionary working among the Muslims many years ago, and he was telling me of the exciting things that God was doing among the Muslim communities where he did his work. I was amazed at how opportunities for the gospel would open up among people who have been preconditioned to reject the message that they bring. And, but miracles upon miracles happen that help open up the hearts of people to the message of God's kingdom. And I asked this missionary to what he would attribute the miraculous things that have happened in his work. You know what he said? He said he noticed that many things would happen every time he asked people to pray for his work. He said he could literally feel it when other people were praying for him, interceding for him. And every time he would forget to ask for prayers, he could also literally feel the opposition to his work. Right there, I learned the importance of interceding for other people in prayer. Every day, people go through life encountering all sorts of problems and difficulties. They may be problems at home, problems with money, challenges at work, issues with relationships. Oh, they tend to pile up and sometimes people simply are too weak spiritually even to just pray for themselves. They need help. So it's good for us to remember that we can help other people a lot, even just through prayers, by interceding for them. We can keep people in mind as we pray. We can lift up to the Lord not only our own concerns, but also the concerns of others. When you intercede for someone, that person will be able to sense that he is not alone. Doors are open, obstacles are brought down, worries and concerns melt away. All because there is someone else praying for them. In a sense, if you are helping other people lift the heavy burdens in their lives through prayer. When we intercede for others, I imagine God paying special attention to these prayers. I imagine God being especially pleased. When we are not selfish in our prayers, when we labor in prayer in behalf of others, I believe God takes notice. Consider this passage from the Apostle Paul in his letter to Timothy. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people. Paul encourages us to always think about other people when we pray. It is always good to lift others up as you intercede for them. When a friend comes to mind at random, uh, bigla mo siyang naisip, say a little prayer for him or her. When someone texts you uh, requesting for prayer, do so right then and there. You may not know their real needs, but God does and God answers. And you will find that when you regularly pray for other people, you'll discover that other people would be more than willing to pray for you as well. Remember, as we learn the immense value of interceding for others in prayer, faith matters too.